Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to schedule social media posts. Now, whether you are an internet marketer or you're a business person with a very hectic schedule, or you're an entrepreneur that is starting out part-time like myself, and you don't have a lot of time to spare to set up your social media posts from scratch on a day-to-day -day basis, then this is definitely the video for you. So stay tuned. <laughs> Now, starting out as an entrepreneur, it can be a bit tempting to do multiple things all at once, and that will have us basically going around in a circle. So we want to try to ensure that we plan everything that we want to do, whether you're making a daily plan or a weekly schedule, and ensure that we're trying to stick to that plan as best as possible now one of the things that we will have to master is actually how to delegate different tasks so based on that information i was doing some research and i found out that there is actually a free app that you can use to schedule different social media posts so it's you have the option to start out free and then you can upgrade at a later time. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about how you can use this app, whether you're using it on your computer or your phone. So the name of this app is Buffer. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is to go to Buffer.com. And then once it loads, you'll actually be seeing the main screen that says save time managing your social media post. So you do have the option to actually sign up for free. And there's also a business version, but I already have a free account. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Now, I actually started using Buffer a couple months ago just to test it out. So once you log in, or once I log in at least, you will see my Twitter account and you will also be able to see the different posts that I've scheduled on Twitter as well as my Facebook account, which I also link to Buffer. So you'll be able to see the posts that I made on Facebook as well. And then you'll get the option to add Instagram and other social media networks so you can see twitter facebook linkedin google plus pinterest and like i said instagram so you can actually add different profiles and then you can upgrade so that you can add up to 10 different social networks at once but i'm just using uh twitter and facebook for now so here you can actually see the different posts that I've done on Facebook. You can see the comments or likes that have actually um, happened on the different posts. And it would be the same for Twitter as well. On Twitter, it also shows you the potential that you have to reach. And if you got any likes or mentions or retweets of your post, my Twitter followers aren't really interactive but hopefully that will change you also have the option to rebuffer a post that you already um, did i posted this today but i have an e on expressive lifestyle so i i deleted it from twitter so i can repost it with the correct name so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys now how you actually make a post before I do that, I'm actually going to be saving this photo because it's the one I want to use. It's in my phone, which I made this initial post from, but I don't have it on my computer. So I'm actually going to save it on my computer first, and then I'll show you how to do the post. So to get started with creating a post, you go to content. And then once you're there, you'd actually see the different social media profiles that you can post to. So I'm actually going to be posting to both uh, Twitter and Facebook and I'm going to go ahead and repost um, the initial content that I wanted to put on Twitter. 
so <clears throat> some of you might see this photo uh, more than once on my profile and it's actually because it has a very powerful message I was watching this video on Facebook and Denzel Washington was giving a speech to a group of college kids and he was saying, you know, don't confuse movement with progress because you can be doing a lot more, but that doesn't mean you're getting a lot done. So it really had me thinking and um, it's something that has been on my mind since I saw that video. So I'm always thinking about it. I'm doing a lot of things, but am I actually um, progressing? Am I getting a lot done? Right? So I'm just going to look for the photo now and post it. Now you do have the option to share up to four images with the post as it says here, but I'm just going to use one for now. Now you have to select add to queue. Now you can click share next, share now, or schedule post which is what we want to do because we want to set it for a future date. All right, so I'm just going to schedule it so that it will post in a few minutes so I can actually go back and show you guys what it does look like. Now, once you schedule it, you have the option to either schedule another post or you can go to the queue to look at what is pending. So it will show that this is going to post tomorrow at central time. You have the option to delete it, edit it, or share now, which means that it would share immediately. Uh, if I go to my Facebook account, I will actually see the same post for the same time. Now, I had already set a post to go out at 6 a.m. tomorrow, but let me just edit this here. And then I will save it with the updates. All right, so now that I've saved it, I'm going to just show you the different tabs that are actually in the buffer app so you can definitely play around with this and see um, how you, it can work for you um, this is just a tutorial to show you how to schedule posts for your different social media account so i'm gonna just give it some time and then we're gonna go back and check what it looks like once the posts are actually sent out now if we're supposed to go to the buffer app on our phone this is what it would look like as you can see here i'm in my twitter profile with the different um posts that are there so you'll see the posts that i did initially and then i deleted it and then you'll see the one that just was scheduled for 12 a.m so this is what it looks like <coughs> on the phone an Android phone to be exact and you can switch to your Facebook profile as well and you will see that one was sent out 12 a.m. 6.01 a.m. so this is what it looks like on the phone my contact content inbox and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a post from the phone so you can see what it looks like so I've actually started to read how to enjoy your life and your job. So I'm just going to take a quote from one of the pages by Dale Carnegie. And that's what I'm actually going to be posting right now to my Facebook account. So if I click on share now it's actually gonna share it right away and there will be nothing pending in my content inbox so let me go ahead and post something to twitter 
I'm actually gonna just go ahead and post the exact same code to Twitter and then I'm gonna actually schedule this one. So if you click on share next, then buffer will automatically um, putting a time for you to for your post to be shared instead of you actually having to go in and select a time as you would usually do if you had selected schedule post. So that's pretty much it as to how you would go about sharing your post from your mobile phone. So let's go back to the desktop and look at what the post actually looks like once it has been scheduled or once it has been posted through Buffer. So now that we're back to Buffer, this is what it looks like. This is a post that I did from my phone to Twitter. And you can see the potential, no mentions as yet. The same for the one that went through at 12 a.m. last night. Let's go to Facebook. All right, so Facebook should be showing three posts. So, okay, so that's Dale Carnegie, 18 likes so far. It's a top post. And then the other one has four likes. The one that was done at 6 a.m. And then you can also see the one that was done at 12 a.m. Don't confuse move, movement with progress. So as you can see, there are different tabs, you know, you have the content, the analytics, the settings. Again, you can play around with this app and see how best it will work for you. But definitely for persons that don't necessarily have a lot of time to post content on their own, um, you can use this app. For me personally, I prefer sending out messages Personally, because as you can see, it will say buffer at the top of your post. So it definitely shows that you are not the one that actually sent this out, that it was set up. Which nothing is wrong with that, but if you're old school like myself and you don't necessarily um, want to use an app, you can just go ahead and post regularly. I mean, for example, for Facebook, it does allow you to personalize your messages with different backgrounds and styles and so forth. So that is something that I definitely enjoy doing. So I would prefer to do my post through Facebook without actually using the Buffer app. But seeing that I am working a full-time job and I'm trying to work on my business part-time, and I'm also now starting uh, my blog, which will be up and running in a few days. Hopefully, I've started my YouTube channel. So Buffer is something that I will definitely be using in the future. So I'm just gonna, I'm just showing you guys how you can actually personalize your message on Facebook. And this is definitely an advantage over doing it through the app because you don't necessarily get to be as creative as you would do on a regular Facebook post. Uh, the same thing with Twitter. I mean, Twitter, you don't really get to personalize as much, but this is what the posts look like. Um, no mentions are like so far, but let's keep our fingers crossed that we might get a reshare or so. But yeah, <clears throat> pretty much how you use the Buffer app to schedule social media posts. So hopefully um, going forward, we can look to see if Buffer will give us the option to make content more creative. But until then, you know, depending on your schedule and what your preferences are, I think this is a really, really good app for people to use to schedule their social media posts. And you do have the option to upgrade to a paid account and get more features. So this is just a free version thus far. So that's it guys on how you go about scheduling your social media posts using the Buffer app, whether it's on your phone or your computer. So if you found value in this video, remember to like, share and subscribe. And I do also look forward 
to seeing your comments. Why?